At the present moment, someone is treading the wine press of hate, and unrestrained, the thought is sent on its wings of feeling. Perhaps sitting in a dungeon this night, someone is treading the wine press of war, and some little boy out in the field catches the idea, and wanting to be a hero, dreams of becoming a great general, commanding the destruction of the world. He is dreaming, and you can't stop the dream. So you are not warring against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places, and heaven is within. In the inside of your mind, these abominable, loathsome beings are carved. They are unseen forces impinging upon you morning, noon, and night. From Neville Goddard's 1967 lecture, Building Your Temple. Neville is saying that inside your mind is the world and all the people, and the people in this world in your mind, morning, noon, and night. They are having all kinds of thoughts and imagining all kinds of things, even the greatest horrors of the world. If we don't take a proactive stance, then all these things, especially unintentional, including the horrors of the world, will continue to be dreamed and outpictured. Every night, these night dreams are dreamt and come to life, because during the day you cannot stop feeling, thinking and feeling and reacting and imagining things. And so too, in a way, functions the dream of life. These people are living out here, man. Danger way they live. Danger of Sancho, man. Yeah, but you are. Ah, yeah, yeah. Go to back there. No, but you're just a guy. You're a guy. Ah, you're not going to live in there, boy. Yeah, but you're. Ah, that's right. Ten to cancel it. Cancel it. Wow, there's this station. You want to? Yeah. Go outside. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I look at this place so many times on Google Maps. Now I ask you to continue to test your creative power by practicing revision. If you hear something that is unlovely, don't accept it, but instantly revise it. Hear the words that ought to have been spoken and persuade yourself, to the best of your ability, that it is so. What would it matter if you owned the world tonight and departed tomorrow to find yourself working as a fry cook, serving up flap cakes? Live your life fully while here, but remember, you can't take your money with you. So Neville is telling you how to put this imaginal truth into your everyday life. Thus you can also become skilled and gain mastery over it for when you really do need it, and normally would feel challenged if you hadn't already been practiced in building your success. So become aware of the things you want to change throughout your day, even the little things. All it takes is two seconds to revise it. What would you hear instead? You don't have to be perfect. The rest will come with practice in your building successes. But first make this habit. And once you know this truth, it doesn't matter what your position in life is, especially once you put it to practice and learn how to use it successfully. So Neville says, live your life fully. And remember you can't take your money with you. So live imaginatively, that it all becomes outpictured, all down to your every last desire. In a sense, he is also telling you, don't worship the gifts over the giver. The giver is you, your own imagination. The gifts are just the outpicturing in the dream of life, and as you awake, the dream vanishes. What you have left, your imagination, your desires, then you can lucidly dream the dream of life, and let the heaven within reign, heaven within thus heaven without. <laughs> Oh, 
じゃあ心絆がこれ。わさびねえかよ。あ、そうだ。あの、俺、これ、これダメだからさ。はい、ええ、じゃ。Give some water. What's this free food they give? Water. Okay. Oh, water for you. Thank you, honey. This is raw fish, so. I hope I like this raw fish. No, no. Taste. To you, taste not good. How do you know it tastes, doesn't taste good to me? What kind of people eat that? It tastes like sardines. Come, Come by. Come by. Okay. 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 He's busy talking to his brother. Yeah. 
Here it is. Don't be so negative. Of course it's special. We're here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can always be in the shop. You're the star. as good as the picture. Let's see if it tastes as good. <laughs> Closing Neville says, Enjoy the things of this world and apply this wonderful law for yourself and others. For imagining truly does create reality. And remember, you are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and darkness of the rulers of this world and spiritual evil in heavenly places. And one day, you who have fallen into division will resurrect into unity. So Neville is reminding you that the point of life is joy. But to truly joy, you must understand that imagining creates reality and learn to exercise your imagining for all the lovely things. Realize that what you think is flesh and blood is just a reflection of consciousness within. And at the moment, just like a night dream, where you dream of a world where your consciousness divided, yet when you wake up, the night dream has dissolved all back into you, into the unity. So too, Neville is saying, as other mystics have pointed out, is the nature of what we call reality, the dream of life. On the outside, we try to fight with shadows, even though in the moment when we are deep asleep in the dream, but we will have an awakening, a spiritual awakening, and we will feel the same unity as we do in the night dream when we wake. And with this spiritual awakening, we wake from all dreams, and if we like, go on to lucidly dream the dream of life. How would it feel to be spiritually awake? How would it feel to feel the unity of what you are with everything? And how would it feel to truly create your own heaven from within? How does it feel to live in such a heavenly reflection? Now let us go into the silence. Good. Hmm. 
smells nice. 